Hello, what's up guys? Let's keep talking about the Viper. In this video, let's talk about some features uh, on the Viper, like picking stuff. So Viper have two ways to pick stuff. Let me load the motion. Here we got a loop, short loop, just to show how to play with balls. With, with objects okay first you need is go to figure mode and create props if you got uh, extra object you can pick three props for now let's let's do it with, with one prop the idea is you understand what is the process you can scale the prop make a nice object now something bigger and you can go back to the viper just move the prop to, to the hand okay when you get the, the props in the correct hand you will see this k info has the prop right right down so you, you can't pick this, this is because you don't have a key, when you get a key, this will activate, so right now the prop is in the right hand, you need to pick right hand, and right hand right here, so now the prop will be linked to the hand, to the right hand, that's the way to, to be behalf to, to pick stuff. Okay, let's animate la, like the balls going to the hand to another one. From here you keep the the same the same key, you just create a key. And right here in this frame suppose you have you need the ball be already in the left hand. And here you need to switch to left hand. Create okay, a key. Now this will be linked to the left hand. Be linked, be on the air, and be linked again. Of course, you can animate in the middle to fix the animation as you wish. And you can fix the curves. Okay, in this process, we link it right here. And in this frame, we we'll link it to the right hand again. Right hand, right hand. Let's create a key. Let's disable this one to get a better looks. So let's link it to here and this frame. We link it to left hand again. Just copy the first to the last one, then you you will get a, a nice loop. So 
So you can add the, the other prop and animate the same. You got multiple balls. So you can fix the animation with the curves and add more dynamic to the ball. But that's the way to use uh, update with Viper. So you can now select your ball and just link it to to the prop the center to the prop move to the correct position now you get the the animation on the on the hands so that's the way to use the the pick up the, with, with props it's, it's easy it's, it's nothing crazy I hope you understand the, the idea so the other way to pick stuff in Viper let me load the the other one animation and let's delete the, the prop because we are not needed anymore let's imagine we have something right here let's create a table with a fear right there okay. yes, less size okay now you want the the biped to take the sphere when the animation goes go right there okay you can do that using a constraint just pick the ball go to the motion panel assign controller you need to pick the transform position rotation and use link constraint ok the link constraint will ask you will ask you in, in the moment you want to pick ok from this moment in the frame 0 let's link to the world or you can link to to the, to the table if you want this can be linked to the table just you need to be sure the table was not moving because if you move the table the ball will move so if you don't have the moving table you can link to the table or link to the wall as, as you wish so now you need to go to the frame with the hand touch the ball see it's exactly 72 frame ok 73 okay, in this frame you add a new link and select the select the the finger at the link select the finger and now the the ball was picked by by the biped this will be very smooth uh, very very professional way to do this one and you can actually animate the ball suppose the make a key when the ball go there just try to rotate and just move a little bit that way you feel like the ball is in, in the hand you can rotate and move a little bit more So that's the way to pick a, another object. So it's very easy, very cool to use. If you want to drop down, you can do it uh, like the same way. 
just right here in this frame suppose the bp drop the the ball just select another right here you want the the bp drop the ball right here just add a link you can link to the table or to the world again let's just link to the table and then he dropped the ball you know it's, it's very easy you see the links it, the, the props are easy too so you can use both both ways to do okay guys uh, now you got uh, example animation suppose you want to transfer this animation to a cat this is a very easy process just, just save the animation in a bit file just touch the biped select whatever part on your biped uh, here you got the save file just save the the bit file now you can delete and create the, your cat let's create a cat object you got a base human cat right here let's create a nice cat right here so now you need to to change to a standard and create a tape the tape will measure your your cut proportion just take the down part and to the top part of your cut is 60 56 centimeters so you need to grab this this number because it's very important to get a big file is 56 okay you can delete this one and now you need to select the this, this arrow right right down the, the cut you need to go to the cut stuff um, right here you got browse a cut motion just select it and go where you have the bit file and select a bit file right here is a backflip just select it and right here is the part important we got 56 this is the bit height but in this case you need to match on your cut so it's supposed to be the your cut size that's the the proportion you need to put right here and just click on ok just capture the animation click on yes and here you got the the viper animation on a cut this is a uh, fastest way to do that uh, you can do through the animation capture animation too but this is the longest process so this is a fast process to do that uh, you can actually fix some stuff right here in your cut layers you can fix if you don't like something some but you know uh, you don't like dark noise you can fix it this actually looks very very nice so the only thing you need to keep in mind was the the measure of your of your character okay the next next trick was you know you can scale biped parts if you want to do uh, squash and stress it's it's a little bit hard with, with biped so i will share with you uh, this script is a scaler for a biped just need to select the, the biped and you can scale just wait a little bit because it's converting all the bones to a scalable structure without damage now it's, it's done so when when the script finish can close 
but the difference is now you can stretch the, the biped part wherever part you select was scalable for the animation so now you can do a squash stretch and cool effect on your animation this is skill this is it's nice to animate this one so this is another trick you can do with with the biped so let's load the default biped so another trick you can do is bend bend the biped structure it's like cut okay you can find uh, this free script from from clovis so i will i will share too but you can find it online it's free so this script uh, works like you select the parts you want to bend in this case we want to bend from here to here just select the three bones uh, the number of subdivision you want let's make it with three and let's create now you can hide the, the viper and you can get uh, new bones let's hide all to see the uh, if you select the first you will get the the tool you will see you you have a new tool right here when you select the hand the, because this was the last control now you have a kind of of hand when you animate the the bike eh? you can bend it you can do cool stuff and you can already animate this as you wish that's another cool feature you can do with with biped so you can do with the foot to let's create now you will get the let me hide the original bones you will get the, the tool right here you can unhide the, the script let's make a The uh, step. That way you can do some nice cartoon effect. So all you need is put put love in the animation and you can do whatever stuff you want with with the biped. So you can combine this one with the stretch uh, and you can get beautiful result uh, on cartoon animation i think this is all for now so i'll see you in the next one with more crazy stuff